So today we are going to break through Minecraft's 30 million block barrier. Let's do this. Hey guys, Anford, I'm here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today we're going to be trying to break the final barrier of Minecraft, which is the 30 million block limit. Now, I'm not directly referring to the world border that we can see here, because this actually doesn't lie directly at the 30 million block limit. If you go ahead and you take a look at the X and Z axis on the top left of the screen there, the number ends in 83. So if I go ahead and I teleport myself beyond this barrier, you can see see that I can actually walk all around here if I feel like it, specifically on creative mode because going beyond the world border, which is this guy right here, will kill you over time. But doing this on creative mode, obviously you're not going to die. But if I go ahead and I try and travel all the way out here, you can see that those two numbers now hit a limit of 29.999999 million. So I'm curious, can you break the final barrier of Minecraft? Can you get past this in any way possible? So let me go ahead and let me provide my inspiration for this idea. So originally a Reddit user by the name of Pantom Chap created a thread where he was able to explode TNT beyond the 30 million barrier in Minecraft. Now you can't do this by just placing TNT by itself here because you cannot get past the barrier and even if you are past the barrier you can't place blocks there. So what you have to do is you need to create a barrage of TNT then shrink the world border from its original size right here down to this size right here and for whatever reason the explosion from a TNT blast can make its way through this wall so if I go ahead and I set down the TNT here which oddly positions itself off center there it's really weird but if we go ahead and we do this all of the TNT that is on the other side of the barrier will be able to get launched past the 30 million limit in Minecraft and we're going to go ahead and we're going to check this out here. So let's go ahead and let's set the barrier to 60 million which is just you know one end to the other and let's go ahead and let's teleport ourselves here. So TP at uh, TP and Venom and then we are looking towards positive Z so tilde 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 5. So now I can go ahead and I can teleport past the barrier here and you can see that on the z-axis there the number is 29,999,999 and yet there are block updates that have occurred on the other side of the barrier and you notice that any of the entities that uh, wound up spawning on this side for whatever reason are dancing around as if they are flying bats. It's really bizarre. So in order to try and accomplish this, I wound up testing a couple of things. Specifically, when I was first testing this, I was near a village that was right at the world border. Specifically, again, if you look at the positive z-axis, you can see that I am at the world limit. So I wanted to know if I could push any villagers into that border since there were villagers in that border when I got here to begin with. And the answer to that is yes, you can push them in. Let me go ahead and let me, well, I guess the water doesn't actually flow there, but if I go ahead and I punch this village, here they are going to go beyond the barrier they're gonna go in an area that I currently cannot go so the next thing that I was curious about is if entities reacted at all to anything if they got hit with an entity from outside so I tried shooting a villager and yeah that works just fine as well and then the next thing that I tried was I tried setting the random tick speed in Minecraft to be very high so that all of these crops would grow and I wanted to know if crops would grow beyond the 30 million barrier and sure enough they do so the next question I had was how can I get past that barrier myself and the first thought that I had was to try and take a boat across because the idea is that boats can move on land. So if an entity like a boat is allowed to move past the barrier, then surely a boat with a mob in it or myself can go past the barrier as well. And funny enough, you can place boats even when you are beyond the world border. So let's go ahead and let's try this here and let's go ahead and let's sail off the edge here. And it looks like we're going to make it. We're going to make it. We are beyond 30 million. But unfortunately, when we get to 30 million and 10, or when we wind up colliding with some other stuff, it does teleport us back. So as you can see there, when it hits just over 30 million and 10, I think it's like 30 million and 10.2, it's a really weird number, then you get teleported back. And if I get out of the boat beyond the 30 million barrier, it teleports me. So that was kind of a sad conclusion. So my next idea then was to try a minecart rail. 
So this one's a little bit more odd because while you can place boats in water from beyond the world border, you can't place minecarts. You can only place them when you are on the other side of the world border. So what you can actually do though is place a minecart down, hop into it, and then shrink the world border while you are in the minecart. And what you have to do is you need to do it right around here so when the world border shrinks, the minecart will then automatically be past the barrier because a minecart by itself cannot go past the world border. It just stops dead in its tracks no matter if it's a flat track or a curved track so let's go ahead and let's do this here and let's shrink the world border before i reach it so here we go here we go oh man we're gonna make it we're gonna make it okay we are past the world border we're gonna make it we're gonna make it okay well it looks as if my z-axis isn't working unfortunately and the only way that you can place down minecart rails is by either using commands if you are beyond the world barrier or by placing them down yourself and you can't get them as far that way. So then I had another bright idea. So this is what the successful attempt looks like. So if we go ahead and we take a look at the world here, you can see that it is nothing but minecart rails all the way up until the barrier of Minecraft, all the way beyond the 30 million limit. Bingo. So let's go ahead and let's try this out here and let's see how far we can go in a minecart. So because I couldn't use powered rails because they wouldn't update in order to be active, I decided to opt for using a furnace minecart to give me a boost into the barrier. And you can actually control a minecart um, whether or not you have power, it just goes really slowly. So this is a good boost to get nonetheless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hop in and I'm going to prep the command that will shrink the world border just as soon as I reach it. Bam, let's go ahead and let's do that here. The furnace minecart is still kind of behind me, but it's lagging behind. And as you can see, I am going past the 30 million limit and well beyond 30 million and 10. So the question is, how far does this go? Well, not a whole lot farther. Let me show you. So if you go ahead and take a look there, you can see that the world is no longer spawning when you get to 30 million 240. The minecart just stops. There's nothing else that you can do and you can't even get out of the minecart. The only way that you can get out is to unload the world and then load it back again or you can take the more fun route which leads to a more glitchy result and that is to kill the minecart. So if you go ahead and you type in kill at e type equals minecart rideable just like this, it will kill the minecart and force eject you out of the barrier zone. You are not stuck in this area forever because as soon as I do this you can see that my z-axis changed, uh, changed. But what's actually really interesting is if I go beyond the barrier back into the safe zone because you can see that z-axis number is going down all of the chunks that just loaded past there has sort of taken away from what can be loaded here and this area is completely blank you can see that I can still walk in everything and actually if I go ahead and I pick block here you can see it will pick block the rail I can destroy the rail and it'll load the small chunk around me but I have to actually walk for another 240 blocks or so until the chunks will reload so I think I need to drop this number down into the 700s and then you will see that it loads everything and if I go ahead and I walk back into this it's still invisible it's really weird and that about covers it and that's how you get past the 30 million limit in Minecraft all the way to where the world stops loading so yeah let's just go ahead and let's just have a little bit of fun for the end of this video and let's blow up a whole lot of things that are beyond the barrier and I'll show you guys that bug that I mentioned earlier where items fly all over the place so any items that land or are exploded beyond the 30 million barrier you can see they just kind of fly around like bats until they get to this side of the world border, uh, which is, you know, beyond the 30 million limit or before the 30 million limit. So yeah, really crazy stuff and it's awesome and I love messing with this kind of stuff. So anyways guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. My name is Ant Venom and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.